Right, so I'm quickly going to show you how to use the WS2811 individually addressable lights, which are these guys. Um, this is what you might have got in a kit from Kickstarter, um, the multicolour lights kit, or some of the other kits as well had um, had similar things in. You've got the Esprino board, you've got two connectors, and you've got the lights here. Now, this connector here, the female one, the one without spikes in, you don't actually need, um, so you can get rid of that. Um, the important thing on these lights is uh, the input side. You've got two sides, data in and data out, and they're all chained along. So this one, the female one here, is the input, and the male one here is the output. So you could actually cut this connector off and use it, um, and then if you decided to buy another set of lights later, you can just put this on the end and put the other set of lights in between, um, and it won't cause you any problems. They've basically got three wires. Um, the two whites are in fact totally the same wire, and um, they're ground. And you've got red, which is power, about five volts, and you've got green, which is signal. So if you plug this in, um, I can show you how they work, how easy they are to wire up. Um, I'll put a battery in the Esprino board, and I've pre-programmed this with some code from the website. Um, so you just connect ground the white wire to ground uh, and the red wire to the pin marked BAT which is about well whatever the battery voltage is or about 4.3 volts um, if you're plugged into USB and be very careful you don't get them in back to front because you can blow up the lights so if I poke those in and then I hold this on B15 which is the pin I've used um, so you can use uh, quite a few different pins on the board but they've got to be marked SPI MOSI. If I do that you'll see that the lights are lighting up and they're, they're animating different colours. Um, so really all you have to do is to solder on those wires which you can do very easily. Um, you know just, just hold them in and um, stick a soldering iron on the back. Or the other option is um, you could solder pins onto your board a bit like this. Um, there's another tutorial on how to do that. And in fact, if you take an old PC to bits, you get lots of things like this. Um, this is a LED on a, on a little connector. And the connector fits perfectly onto, um, onto these pins. I mean, you, you can buy the connectors online, but if you've got an old PC, this is a great way to get hold of these kind of things. Um, so what I've done with these is I've actually... Um, taken the uh, the lights and I've soldered on connectors here and then you can easily um, plug them in and take them off um, yeah and later on you can um, you can make a bigger strip of LEDs if you want now it's a little bit annoying that um, these LEDs don't have connectors on these wires but the reason they've done it is because these actually draw quite a lot of power when they're all on um, and if you chain them together which you can do you can just buy another set from eBay or something and and stick them on that connector. Um, then you really need to connect each separate string of lights to a separate 5 volt power supply because um, you know they end up drawing several amps if they're all white full power. 